Hey, how's it going, fellow Trojans and loyal vassals? Today we're going to be taking a look at Big the Budo, a Tamashi web shop exclusive based off his appearance in the anime of Kimika Man. Uh, and I might add that uh, normally I don't like, if you've seen any of my other Kimika Man figure reviews, I don't normally like the anime color variants. Uh, there are a few exceptions, and this is actually one of them. I actually prefer how he appears in the anime. This whole color scheme is very appealing. The red, black, and white is always a good option. Uh, the anime, I mean, the manga is actually not as appealing. Uh, rather than black skin, he actually has green skin. This part is, I believe, either pink or blue. No, or his pants are blue. I don't know. It's just a very hideous color scheme. This is actually way more appealing to me. Uh, but it still has, a, it's just, it blows my mind that we're still getting SH Free Arts uh, from the Kinnika Man figure line. I mean, uh, series. It's, it, it just blows my mind we're still getting it. And I didn't, I didn't uh, expect this guy to be announced so soon because this guy is a big character, as you can see, as his name would imply, Big the Budo. Uh, and I didn't know how exactly this was going to work out in terms of articulation, but surprisingly, the articulation on this guy is actually really good and it doesn't hinder his uh, his, uh, his movement at all in my opinion and you'll see in a bit uh, just to give you a quick synopsis of this character he's uh he's actually secretly uh, his his cover name is Big the Buddha but he's actually a, a Chojin that goes by the name of Neptune Keen and he is actually uh, considered or he is a perfect Chojin and perfect Chojin are essentially beings that surpass far normal expectations of regular Chojin and essentially they are closer in terms of power to gods than regular Chojin and, and they essentially they banish themselves from the the regular uh, plain field of normal Chojin and they train in the heavens amongst themselves and Neptune Keen originally uh, he was on earth and he tried to participate in the, the wrestling matches of of, of the time unfortunately he did not like what he was seeing where wrestling instead of becoming a, a death match a, a, a battle to the death kind of thing it was more of a sport as how it is today but uh that's how it always is but i'm just saying through his eyes he wanted uh, wrestling to be a death match battle to the death so he banished him or he went into hibernation for several of a year under this river where he met coral man aka neptune man and he gave him or he, or his name was Coral Man. He gave them the Neptune mask, and then he became Neptune Man. And together they formed the Hell Missionary and competed during the Dream Tournament Tag Arc, where they wanted to steal all the other Chojin's masks and then bring back other perfect Chojin from the heavens and replace them, and have a world filled with. I guess they wanted to change the the whole thing, the whole scene to death matches and whatnot. Uh, but he met his untimely demise. I'm not sure if he comes back because the Kinnikin Man series is actually still going on in Japan, albeit not as popular as it once was, but it still has a solid fan base. And unfortunately, I don't think there's a lot of people translating it because I don't know anywhere where to read it, but uh, I don't know. I just know there's new characters and possibly he may or may not reappear there. I do not know. I've only seen images of stuff that may or may not mean that he is... But here he is, Big the Budo, and man, this guy, well, let me just show you a quick size comparison. So he is about seven inches. Uh, he's not that tall, but he is very wide. Here is, yeah, I guess, your standard SH figure. It's kind of five inch figure. As you can see, he is massive and surprisingly light. Not that heavy. You would think so, but uh, uh, he's actually relatively light, not too heavy. I can only imagine if they used die cast on this guy, he'd probably be, he'd really be Big the Budo. Uh, and I really like the musculature. Look, look at, look at them biceps, compared to look at this guy. You you need three three bice, no four biceps side to side to even match up to this. Look at that. God damn! Look at his fist. That is crazy. Now take a look. While, the, while his front side isn't too impressive, you can't really see the musculature on his. Pe which by the way, he kind of has like a. I always thought it was interesting his design. He has like a kendo, I believe that's the term, that's the word, uh, a kendo uniform kind of thing with the mask. Uh, I'm not actually sure what these Japanese characters are supposed to mean. Unfortunately, I, I don't think I've ever bothered to research on what those means, uh, but it, they are there. But at the back, look at this. Let's do a slow turn. God damn! Look at all them mu that back muscles. Good lord. 
That is probably a sight to behold. Look at, look, can we get a close up? I don't know if we can. It's probably. Look at it. Look at all the muscles. Look at them traps. I mean, I, I'm speechless. I don't know what to say. Like, holy crap. Let's get a good, like, look at his freaking traps. Look how massive those are. Golly. I can't, like, that's one thing I can't get over. How freaking massive his muscles are. This is crazy. Said in terms of articulation, this guy actually is relatively not that bad. It does not hinder him in whatsoever. Uh, so at the head, he has a uh, ball joint, and really, he can just pretty much look anywhere he wants. He is not—he has no hair, so he can just look anywhere, no problem. He has another ball joint at the lower part of the neck, and he can look quite a bit up. Let's see if you can see. It. So there's that. And because he and because his his standard head, he doesn't have any eyes. It doesn't really matter where you turn him to, so you, and it, it still looks good because he doesn't have you know you, it won't bother you that he's looking a certain way. So uh, you can have him looking in any direction, and it would still indicate that he is in fact looking in that direction without actually having eyes looking in that direction. Uh, at the shoulders, he has uh, the same mechanic where you have two or two pieces of uh, and it's kind of hard because I have the thing too close to the desk here so I don't know if I can really show you the articulation off but he has this uh, secondary piece right there much like the other SH figure arts uh, Kinikima figures this part right here where it is on a ball joint this piece and then uh, the actual shoulder piece is actually on another ball joint connected to this piece on a hinge connected to the uh, deltoid Let's see if I can kind of show you what I'm saying so uh, kind of you can kind of see it but right there there's the hinge uh, that's connected to the deltoid uh, the ball joint is in there somewhere, and then the, another, the secondary ball joint is connected to this piece. And it's very, very impressive. He can't get his arm all the way across his chest, uh, because, you know, he is a massive... This thing right here, which, by the way, there it did, it did come with instructions that... I'm not exactly sure if the paint on this or the paint on this would rub off on his uh, shoulder here, but it did mention that paint would rub off in some shape or form. Uh, but there's that and I think it's just overall impressive. I like it. He has double jointed elbow He can't really get a closed fist because his muscles are just too massive. Look at that or, I mean a closed or a perfect elbow kind of thing. Well, no, he can get quite a bit and he has a, a standard uh, uh, Wrist hinge His waist is on a ball joint. This whole thing is ball jointed and because he's rounded uh it makes for like it's very like concave that's the word the it's like concave if you would imagine inside the his lower part and he has no problem getting a ridiculous ab crunch now watch this oh here's the upper waist see that and it, and it looks good because again he has no muscles here so it makes it look very ambiguous i don't know if that's what i'm thinking of like so you can have him looking a certain way like that and it, it looked good in any angle or well, from the front anyways from the back i guess it would look a little off not too much uh, but he has an amazing ab crunch. Now watch this. Look, look. You seeing this? See, you can kind of see the mechanic going on right here. If I can kind of show you, there's a hinge right there. That's actually the hinge, and the, there's a ball joint somewhere in there. I don't know if you can kind of see the light's not picking it up. There it is. You can see it right there. There's the ball joint, and there's the hinge. And it's just very impressive the fact that he can get this much of an ab crunch despite being so big. Look at that. Look at that. And it's, it just looks very nice. It's natural. You can't get too much of an arch on his back. But it, and actually, you know what? That is impressive still. So there's that. I think I really like it. Uh, each of these little tiles are actually on their own separate ball joint and hinge. Let's see if I can kind of show you. Uh, so there, right there, uh, this is the hinge and this is the ball joint. And that's how that works. However, it is going to vary from figure to figure in terms of looseness. This is the only piece that's very loose. Aside from that, all of them pretty much are solid. Uh, let's see if I can get this up. So his lower part, again, something I wasn't expecting, is really, really posable. Let's see if I can kind of show you right here. 
Uh, so they have your standard uh, ball joint like most other SH Free Guards, but on a much larger scale. And I kind of wish the SH Free Guards Hulk made use of this kind of thing rather than uh, what it did have. And this is just way more like, watch this. It, and again, it, it has the ability, I believe, yeah, right, you can pull it down also. Just look at this. He can get his... Look, that's impressive for a massive man like this to be able to do that. So he has a ball joint right there and a secondary ball joint, I believe. Uh, see, you can actually see it right there, the whole mechanic going on right there. There's the ball joint, the standard one, and then there's the secondary one right there for the lower part. And this just makes it impressive for a massive figure to be able to do that kind of stuff. Uh, also, one thing I didn't, I forgot to mention uh, for paint application, which by the way, he doesn't have much. Uh, the only uh, real details that he does have is actually on his uh, pants or whatever terminology you have for these type of uh, Japanese clothing. Uh, but there is a heavy amount of uh, gray shading going on. Uh, it's it's not bad. I personally think it's a bit too heavy. Like you can't tell because of the light, but in person it just looks, it looks a bit too dark in certain areas. Like right here. That's just my opinion. That's what I think. Uh, but it's not that bad. Back to articulation, he has a double jointed knee, which unfortunately looks like this looks normal, you, but you can actually get it really far back, and it's not unsure if it's supposed to be like this. Like, see, I kind of. Whoa, is, wait a minute. Is that a. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Never mind, I could have sworn. I thought for a second his knee, his, his knee was on a double jointed ball joint. That, that wouldn't have made any sense, but. You can get his knee quite a bit. See that? So that's impressive. Uh, I was gonna say that uh, his knee looked a little off. Uh, oh, never mind. Okay, it's this one I think that looked off. There you go. That one has more of a gap to it. See that? Compared to this one where everything looks flesh, relatively. But this one, see, there's kind of like a gap right there. But I'm sure if I just fiddle around with the knee joint, I can probably pull it off better. Yeah, there you go. Never mind. Okay, I fixed the problem. He has a double jointed knee, surprisingly, and he can get it quite a bit off, uh, quite a bit. And he has a, a single jointed foot right here going on, nothing too fancy. Side to side. And you can't move it like that. So impressive stuff, to say the least. The fact that you have this massive, massive uh, character. He, he doesn't weigh that much, and he's quite the articulated figure that's impressive i just can't get over that uh for accessories he doesn't come with much uh to show you aside from those two closed fists he comes with these uh opened palmed hand which they are on a hand so if you wanted to you can actually have him holding stuff so there's that i like it uh he came with these two hands which have holes on them which for this one's actually already holding a chopstick that's for like this image or picture that was taken uh, this doesn't come with him. This is just a chopsticks that I had from one of my other figures. But he has these two open palmed hands for holding his. Uh, I believe this is a kendo sword. Correct me if I'm wrong. This is actually the sword that he comes with. Nice detail. And I don't recall at all if he ever used this in the series. Uh, I just know it was a prop that he used when he first appeared. I can't recall at all if he used it. Maybe he did. My mind's a little fuzzy on that. And aside from this standard head, he actually comes with a somewhat similar head like this, but this one actually has, oh, I, there you go. He has eyes glowing white, uh, yellow eyes appearing. That's really cool. And then the big reveal is his true identity. And this is an amazing piece. The fact that he came with his head, he comes with his Neptune King actual persona. And this thing just looks really cool. I like the fact that his hair, I mean, it was, it, was, it was always like this, so it makes it really look like it doesn't get in the way of his articulation. Like, if his hair was down, it would, but I mean, it, it was never down. This is how, how it always appeared. I just, I'm just saying that in, in plastic form, as a figure, it makes sense. Because it doesn't impede on his articulation. And this head looks really cool. So yeah, I'm thoroughly impressed, SH Figuarts. You did a bang of a job on this guy. And if you have the, the other character released in the line, uh, Neptune Man, you can actually have him in Nept uh, Neptune King or Big Debudo uh, performing their signature uh, technique. And I believe it was called the Cross Bummer. <laughs> Or 
if you have him with his Neptune King persona, you can have him performing his signature uh, trademark move. I think it was, believe it was called the Megaton King Drop. <laughs> And that thing looks pretty sick. So I think this is pretty cool. Uh, I don't think this is going to be available. Obviously, it's not available to the your typical kind of place. This is a Tamashi Web Shop exclusive. I got mine on Big in Japan for like $100. Uh, and I think it's just really cool. I approve. Good job, Tamashi or SH for Arts. Whoever did the work on this guy. Impressive stuff. Big the Buddha. I think it's time to end this video, don't you agree? Alright guys, I'll see you on the next one. Also, real quick, I forgot to show this, is that he also comes, I mean, with the figure this big, you would think that, he do, that he'd come with his own massive stand, and sure enough, he does. Uh, this is the massive stand, uh, the biggest articulated stand that I've ever seen a figure ever come with. And uh, I'm speechless. Uh, aside from this, he also comes with this piece. If you wanted to take these pieces off and attach it to this piece to have him doing, I guess, aerial poses. Can't imagine a big guy like this doing any aerial poses aside from his signature move, the Megaton King Drop. Uh, he also came with uh, a few other pieces if you wanted to attach them to the uh, Tamashi stage stand. These are actually the instructions here. He came with these extra pieces right here. Uh, I can only assume this to support the extra weight, otherwise the, this thing would break. And just hearing all this instructions and whatnot. So yeah, that's something I just want to show off real quick because I completely forgot about it. So yeah, now the review is over. Peace out.